This is a piece about money, greed, and insanity. The foundation of the piece comes from a critical analysis of robber barons from late 19th and early 20th century America, using a single case study as a means of discussing their political and economic influence. <laughs> The case study in question is the life of Cornelius Vanderbilt II, a man who was driven insane by the sheer boredom of his vast wealth. And this was ended in on much of the The structure of the piece is derived from the layout of the Vanderbilt summer cottage, the Breakers, currently the 17th largest house in America with over 70 rooms and grounds that stretch 200 million acres. The piece contains one movement for every floor in the house, with the scenes in each movement coming from the rooms that reside on that particular floor. The piece also deals with the wider themes of capitalism and the destructive role of the selfish individual within society. Each performer's individual logic is atomized and constructed using Freud's theory of the id, ego, and superego, with each of these roles relating specifically to one of the three performers. We will now begin. It could cost up to $200,000 to throw a fancy dress ball during the summer season, and the brother-in-law of Tsar Nicholas II once remarked that he had never even imagined such luxury. Mrs. Stuyvesant Fish once threw a dinner party to honour her dog, who arrived wearing a diamond collar worth more than ten times the average annual wage. I own 15 railroads, New York Central 1, and Hudson 1, 2, and Lakeshore 1, 2, and Michigan Southern and Michigan Central 1, 3, 4, 5, and its auxiliary lines 1, 3, 4, 5, and Canada Southern 1, 2, Five, six, seven, and the Chicago and Northwestern. One, two, four, five, six, three, four, six, eight, and Omaha and the Cleveland. One, two, three, four, six, three, four, five, six, eight, nine, ten, eleven, four, six, seven, eight, three, four, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, seven, eight, one, one, the King of five, six. And the sh one. Railroads. I am the king of steel, prince of Wales. I am the boat, the train, the plough, the land. I have four things: James Brown, Jimi Hendrix, Marvin Gaye, and Charlie Chaplin. And I am all, and there is no one left. Here's the latest look from Paris with a flattering new collection by Dior, Balmain, Saint Laurent and other top Parisian couturiers. Reflecting the first party spirit of the season is a Dior original, consisting of a blither of black sequins in an all-over design of this fabulous black coat of silk, combined with cloud-like pink chiffon and a pleated dress with a clever cross halter neck. Dress or coat alone certainly a fact news, but combined we have the epitome of chic and sophistication. A French tapestry inspired this short evening gown, using three-dimensional embroidery on a dress. It's basically quite simple. The designer, Pierre Balmain, the dress lovely, n'est-ce pas?
because this woman hadn't taken the trouble to write distinctly from time to time in the course of my life. It's gone mad. Not by fire, but by the art divine, did the rich celebrate themselves. They hired men such as Carl Bitter and Richard Morris Hunt, American architecture's first and in many ways its greatest statesman, to erect great mercury houses for them with great halls such as that of the breakers, which measured 50 feet by 50 feet by 50 feet. It had as many squares as there are numbers, and six giant doors that led to the hall accompanied by six limestone figures, each one celebrating humanity's progress in a specific field. At that time, the authority of a thousand was not worth the reasoning of a single man, even if that man believed himself to be the Prince of Wales, which, by the end of his life, Cornelius Vanderbilt II did. This is stupid. It's in my head. You don't exist outside my head. I'm not talking to anyone, so it doesn't matter. There isn't anyone here. I'm just talking to myself in an empty room. None of this is happening. All of this is in my head. I'm just imagining an audience. I'm just imagining an audience in a room. I'm just imagining an audience in a room listening to me. But there isn't and they aren't. There is no one else in this room but me. There is just me. I'm just imagining the concert and the audience and everything. I'm all alone, there isn't anyone else, there is no one, it's just me. I'm just talking to myself on my own. I'm not talking to an audience because there isn't an audience. There isn't one in this room, there's just me. No one audience, no one else, just me, just my mind, just me and my mind. No one but me and my mind, just me, my mind and me, but no one else, just me, but just me, no one else, but no one else, just me, me, but no one, just me but me, no one else, just me, just my mind, but just my mind, my mind, mind and me, my mind and me and my mind and me, just my mind and me, but my mind, just me.